Hey guys, today I have a slightly interesting video. You ever heard of um, SIM lock devices? In, in my case, I have here an S7 Active again, thanks to a, a certain person in linking below, you know, shout out segment for him. I, even though I we not the best pals, but uh, a deal is a deal. Um, so, uh, thanks for providing the device, but uh, it's SIM locked. So now I need to unsim lock this thing. If anybody doesn't know what is a sim lock, because well you never ex um, had experienced it, because well number one most of us buying unlocked variant of devices and not locked to a specific carrier, or we are now too uh, are stuck to this carrier. Let's say you've got a T-Mobile customer. And you are forever stuck on T-Mobile. You will never experience this uh, SIM lock issue. That means that already gave you a clue what it is. It's a specific to a carrier uh, lock that the let yeah there you go AT and T uh, lock. So I can use the AT and T SIM in it, but I cannot use any other SIM in it or AT and T relative to it because uh, apparently if you had a let's say an O2 SIM lock device. Gifcap works both fine on it, even though it's not O2, but it runs on O2 towers. That's a difficult question to answer, but this uh, needs to be sim locked. And we're gonna be showing, I well, I tried to show because I've seen a guide how to do it. Just maybe, you know, spread the word a bit more and show what happens if you don't have the right uh, device. And show that, let's say, out of 50% or more would get results. Um, I don't know how to remove a sim lock myself. So I reflashed this device, and um, it didn't work. Not it did not work. Hopefully we'll see how this goes. If this would able to be sim unlocked, uh, I can show you that I'm Yana, but I really don't care about this thing because well, it's not my main device. I don't know why Uber is pre-installed, but Uber is pre-installed. So here's the I'm Yana number of the device. The screen is horribly burned in. Well, it's not burned in, horribly burned in, but it's not greatest to be burned in that badly but yeah we'll see how this goes so let's begin uh first thing first uh, you need to unlock your device uh, and you need to uh type a uh, at and uh unlock uh well not unlock code but uh, unlock into google on the device this it said or you can do it a, a different way around I'm doing it the the simple way to visualize it for you. Uh, unlock your device and uh, thing. So you're gonna see this page. Unlock the device. Unlock this device. Uh, unlock your device. Unlock your device. Are you uh, are you on? Uh, do you have a number with, from AT and T? I don't. So no. Do you have a so you know, if you're a customer of AT and T? But no, I'm not. So you know. I have read yes, continue. But I need to write the IMEI number now of the device. So, life tip. If you ever want to know what the IMEI number of the device, you can go into settings and find out that way, or that way you can just type the 06, you know, star hash 06 hash to get to the IMEI number. Okay, never mind. The so it showed up as a a variant of the S7 Active. Uh, we can double check that in settings and about. You can see it's a G eight 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 nine one A G eight one nine A. I have read the agreement. Next. And there you go. Well, there's a reasoning why sometimes uh, the guides that tell you how to do it. Uh, it will not work. Here's the reason why. If some devices are not properly paid off. Let's just for loads of it. Let's try to submit a new request. Okay, yep, I'm happy. Next. Nope. You can see it, it's not allowed to do it. <laughs> Is there a way to bypass this? Probably. 
I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find a way to bypass it and probably maybe show it to you, but maybe not because I'd be too lazy to record this. But um, just want to show you what actually happens, like if some people don't have it lucky, like some people do, in some guides, and they say miraculously, "Oh, it worked! Don't worry, buy a at t locked devices. It's fine. You will unlock them perfectly fine. Simple." Well, that's what. You better leave to believe what happened, but not all the time. So I hopefully hope that I could shed some light for you of um, if you can do that. But actually, I'm, I'm not worried about that because I had another S7 active came uh, from him uh, that is completely fresh.ed The screen was completely fresh. That's one that you saw me destroying in the previous video of me doing. This is the one. And the motherboard actually is unlocked, so I can just take the motherboard out of this and put in from this one. So, like, swap the guts out. Uh, if that's the worst case scenario. But that's not gonna be me done. It's gonna be done by a shop. Again, maybe link below if they, if they, like, hooray. But, you know. Um. But, yeah, I hope, hope you enjoy. Oh, so the next video is actually related to this one, too. So. Shh. Sneak peek. Um. But, uh. Oh, hope. I hope, uh, oh, oh wait, I didn't show you what actually happens if you actually do put a SIM into a SIM lock device. So, here, there are three different SIM cards you can see. Um, what, three in different states. So, two UK SIMs, one a Latvian SIM. A Latvian SIM is completely bocked, uh, SIM locked. My test SIM that works perfectly fine. And three SIM that is uh, completely dead. Like it says, uh, no SIM provision. So the question is like, what will happen if you put it into a locked and unlocked variant of the phones? Let's start with a locked variant. Uh, we put the complete bocked sim into into the S7, and it kicks. It realizes that you can see the sim card is permanently locked and not valid. I hope you like the video, sub to the channel, and uh, all the links going to be below, hopefully, and, and if I'm not lazy, and we'll see how this goes. I hope you like the video, sub.